the Wellcoin Talk to me community. Tonight we have an AMA with Crowscoin. Crowscoin is the next Dogecoin on the Kronos blockchain. That's what they're aiming to be. They're a huge success they've had. They launched on March the 16th, I think it was, and it's just been growing from strength to strength. They've got a multi-chain swap that's just now complete. They've got the P2E gaming. They've got the, this first token on the Kronos blockchain to bridge BSE to Crow. So, yeah. We can go into all the details and more about the DAP shortly. But first, um, Tyler, yeah, if we can go into the background and experience for crypto for the core team, that'd be great. Tyler? No, I think we've lost Tyler. Hey, yeah, sorry, I don't get the greatest oh, okay. service where I am right now, but yeah, I'm I'm here. Okay, Tyler, okay, did, Tyler. You, did you get the first question yeah, about, the, about the, yeah, the whole team's uh, background experience with crypto? Yeah, where I am, there's a lot of wind outside, but yeah, what was the quest, the first question? I can hear you now. Uh, just about the uh, background and experience of the core team in crypto. Um, for the first question, would be great. Yeah, the me, Comet, um, God, and Jack have all been around in crypto for a couple couple years now, and we've all invested into coins over the years. And you know, we've been in winners and losers, and you know, the, some of the big historic ones and whatnot. So we've all seen firsthand from an investor's point of view how to um you know what what it's like to be on that and and then we've also each ran some of our coins and in the past that have you know made it into multiple 10 millions of market cap so we have some pretty good experience and you know that's why we kind of all joined together to do this one on a new network something that we were all interested on trying and something that we all you know thought we could you know achieve and kind of wanted to do it as the first one on this chain to kind of pioneer the way we thought that'd be pretty interesting and of more of a unique concept so yeah that's pretty much the background of everyone also with everyone you know them all having their own call channels in the BSC space that really helped bring a nice good audience to, um, initially. So yeah, that's kind of the general background of everyone. Launched on the 15th of March, it's been a huge success. The Crows coin, you want to be the next Doge coin on the Kronos blockchain. You're the first token on the Kronos to bridge BSC to Crow. So yeah, if we can just go into the first sort of seven weeks of um, the Crows coin, the team and the community growing and what's been happening. Yeah, the first, you said the first seven weeks, kind of a recap. First, yeah, first, you, know, yeah you know, seven weeks seven since weeks. you launched, what's been happening with the team and the community? Yeah, I mean, we started out, we got a pretty good start, I guess you could say. And, you know, pretty quickly, I think it was a, about between one and two weeks that we got to the 10 million market cap and then pretty much about every two weeks we kept having our our pumps and that's also when the market as a whole was going pretty well so we reached up to the all-time high of 58 mil as most people know and then in that time span we put together um the bridge the bsc bridge which came kind of at a bad time because that's right when the market started dipping off and then we came with the p2e game um some other things we had was the mmf partnership the central exchange we had three central exchange listings in phase one of the roadmap that was xt bitmark and l bank we had uh, there's been quite a lot to be honest i'm struggling to even remember everything um a lot of partnerships that we put together you know lifetime partnerships that people are still active with um, um a lot of ethereum partnerships that we just put together as well so pretty much the main goal of phase one was to get the name out there as much as possible and 
because everyone knows you can ride off that first initial pump for a while. And then when you got the name out there to everyone, phase two is when we're, which is what we're doing right now, is when we're starting to incorporate actual more, you know, sustainable, longer term utilities or updates, such as, you know, NFTs, higher tier centralized exchanges, um, you know, the higher tier partnerships, like we just got the Marcelo, um, the football player from Italy, one of the top names. And so that's what we're starting to work on now. But the first seven weeks, we did a lot of the standard, you know, boilerplate stuff that every coin has to do, like, you know, CMC, CoinGecko, um, you know, all those type of ones. So <clears throat> it's been pretty, you know, standard for the most part. But phase two is that we're in now is when it's starting to get a little more interesting. Yeah, in the short space of time, you've <clears throat> you're adding a lot of utility into the crow's coin as well as the meme meme side. You know, you're building the utility, so it's the best sort of both worlds having uh, the meme side. Uh, and you have like a, a crow's army that goes out on Twitter and a big community. You've got eight thousand seven hundred eighty two Telegram members, so that's great. That's great. Yeah. And Twitter, we're up to almost 50,000. I mean, and you know, it's not like we pay for, you know, bots to follow us or, you know, anything like that. That's all been totally organic. So, yeah, we've definitely achieved um, the goal of getting our name out there. So, can we go into the uh, features on, of the DAP? You're going to have portfolio trackers, rug checker, swap, watch list by crypto with fiat um yeah what, what sort of timeline are you building that out and uh what's coming for investors in the future there yeah we're currently in the process of redoing the whole website so i can't say too much specifics of what we'll be doing with that but yeah that's it is planned to be expanding on that and to be upgrading the the current app but i w wouldn't truthfully be able to say anything you know concrete of what we plan on doing with that it's all kind of up in the air right now okay and you've got the staking planned on the dap and the custom nft collection uh, what's planned there yeah the custom NFT, nfts we're going to be releasing it as ourselves we'll have our own mint function that we'll be able to do through um internally through our site the staking, we still, I mean, you can stake at MMF, but right now we still haven't decided on what we're going to do with our own in-house staking, if we're going to do it. Um, it's been kind of, we're trying to save a lot of the extra tokens we have for our the high-end centralized exchange. You know, Mexi is about 16th and they took, they took a lot of tokens. So when we're trying to get to the top five tier, you know, tier one, top five, I mean, they're going to be taking tens of millions of tokens each. With the custom NFT collection, how many are you planning? And are you going to do like a, a whitelist or something? I imagine they could sell like hotcakes. Um, so, are they going to be gonna based, be based on, the on the Crows? crows? Yeah, they'll be based on um, the Croj icon. We're going to be doing three rounds, three phases. It's going to start with some of the more higher, <clears throat> higher end ones that are accessible to like more of the pioneers in our community or the whales or the early holders. And that's going to be a short, I don't remember the specific numbers of what we're releasing. Um, it was, it's going to be three rounds. The first one's going to be lower scale. I mean, lower amount that's released, you know, kind of the more expensive, you know, limited series ones. And then the second will be the second round should be about, I think that was about a thousand. And the third one would be about 5,000. Again, I can't say these numbers with pure accuracy as Comet was handling more of the NFT stuff. Comet handled more stuff to do with the game and the NFTs. So, I was hoping that he was going to be on this one to be able to answer the questions regarding that. No problem, yeah. Um, and the multi-chain swap, uh, that's now complete. Uh, for new investors, new that investors don't know how it works. How it works. Is it quite it's easy, easy for them easy for to them. use? So if they're so if on, they're the, on BSC, the BSC, they would just be able to, able to convert to that and buy Crow's coin. Yeah, all they have to do is go to crowdcoin.com slash swap. And I mean, if you can work pancake swap, it's the same user interface that you know the same style as most other all swaps so yeah i mean if you can work pancake swap or literally any other swap you're able to use this one 
and you can go like for example b and b straight to croge um sometimes if it can't find a route it'll 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 say on the bottom that it can't find a route and it'll just give you chronos and then you can just use your chronos right to croge so it's pretty much the easiest way and the only way we suggest buying it these days because it's just nothing's easier to buy it from with that if you're outside of chronos you can come over from ethereum you know any any of the other currencies you can find a route over where you can do it all just through that and are they sort of gas fees quite cheap yeah it's just the same gas fees that you would find on you know any other swap platform and are you planning with the community a governance token with a DAO with voting rights in the future for Crow's coin then? Planning in, sorry, it cut out. Planning in the future what? And then um, a governance token with a DAO with voting rights in the future for the community at Crow's coin. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I wouldn't be able to. We haven't even really gotten to that point or talked about what we plan on doing um, regarding that. So I wouldn't want to say anything. But yeah, that is would still be up for debate in the future. And have you had the smart contract audited and are you looking to do other audits in the future, like a certain audit? Yeah, we did get an early on audit, obviously, just to show that, um, you know, it is safe. Um, and then as it's been one thing that we've been needing meaning to do is you know get the higher level audits from you know some of the other major names that everyone's aware of but yeah that's something definitely that we're still planning on doing we everyone is on the team kyc to spy wolf um so that is something that we did um a couple weeks ago i believe three four weeks ago you know me jack comet we all all did that um but yeah the contract is audited Awesome. And how does the Crow's P2E game work? I, I think it's down for maintenance at the moment, but it's back up on the 11th of March. How does it work to play the game and uh, the P2E? Yeah. Um, Comet, yeah, did more so of the work inside behind that. To be, I'll be totally honest, I've never actually played the game. <laughs> but... Right now, it is down for maintenance because of the Kronos network update that is going on tomorrow. All transactions will be paused through Kronos as they're doing their new upgrade. It should tremendously improve speeds with transactions. I know sometimes the Kronos chain is lags behind a lot of other, you know, versus like, you know, BSC side. So that is one update that they're doing tomorrow, which is actually quite a big one. I mean, the Kronos network as an entire blockchain is still in beta. So, I mean, the fact that it's come this far in a beta version is pretty impressive, but this is kind of like something that we had to pause the game and we're doing some rebalances. There will be an announcement coming after the 11th of what we're doing there's some new additions some new upgrades and some new things to balance it out for longevity great and what's the marketing roadmap going forward um you know what you're planning i mean obviously you've got a big community there that they go out there and promote the crows coin but um what marketing plans have the team got as well yeah the main thing right now is getting some of the higher tier <clears throat> youtubers ones that pretty much you you struggle to even find access to the ones that you're going to pay out the nose for that's one of the next steps because we want to start going to the wider audience you know kind of the people more of the mainstream people which we try and target at the mainstream crypto people you know not not the outside of more of the telegram community um and then the higher end centralized exchanges because those really attract that really solidifies you more and gets you in front of a lot of bigger whales and investors and it just gets the name out there a lot more so those are the things that we're kind of at the level that most we've surpassed a lot of what the average tokens get and so now we're starting to do those updates things that will carry us further along you know we always have volume now on these centralized exchanges so that's something that 
you really can't lose. I mean, there's a lot of swing trading that goes along there and it keeps you relevant and keeps volume and people, you know, bridging over to your main network. So that's one of the pretty much the main thing we're focusing on right now is that along with, you know, newer higher end partnerships. Yeah, you took it to the next level with the, um, the bridge to BSC because, yeah, you're only limited with a, a set amount of people that know about Crows and use Crows. So, yeah, you've, you're expanding nicely across. Yeah, that's, great. that's great. Yeah, you're looking yeah, to maybe, maybe you know, or actually go cross chain, go on to Ethereum or something in the future. Yeah, it's something we thought about. Obviously, we're not going to do it in these type of market conditions. Um, that would be near suicide right now. But yeah, it's something that, yeah, if, you know, when things get back up on normal pace, that we would be doing, we, we would be opening that up eventually. But it's something that we, I wouldn't even say any future date of when we plan to do it. Just when it makes sense to do it is when we would do it. Um, because obviously, you know, once we get higher up in cap and have more money to put to a higher Ethereum liquidity pool, because if you want to bridge to Ethereum, you need a very high liquidity on that side. No large ETH investors or whales are going to touch a coin unless there's hundreds of thousands of dollars in liquidity pool. So that is something we need to, you know, kind of save up for. And how does the tokenomics work for the buys and sells for investors at Crosscoin? Yeah, right now it's at 7% buy, 7% sell. It's 4% marketing, 3% liquidity. And that's the same on the BSC side as well. The BSC side, we haven't really even tried to push because as I said, right when we, that's a whole nother separate world of advertising we would have to do to really get that out there. Um, but I mean, BNB is down to like 300 right now. So we haven't really, it's just kind of throwing money away right now, unfortunately. But if we, you know, when we decide to start doing BSC side advertising, I mean, we could get that pumping very high. I mean, there's a lot of people who are just waiting for us to start doing that. So that's a whole nother route that we could do, which would be really good for the coin and for some of the early investors in the BSC side as well. And for all the people yeah, the, back and forth to crow. The markets, yeah, struggling at the moment. So this is the advantage of having a, a meme token with a large community, you know, that are sort of diamond hands and uh, are here for the long term. And then you've got the utility you're building on the other side. So you've got the best of both worlds, really, um, because, yeah, it's the biggest sort of project on the Crow Network, uh, Crow's Coin. It could be huge in the future. But, yeah, unfortunately, we are in the market that we're in and hopefully it'll improve uh, shortly in the future. Um, so let's open it up to the rest of the team. If anyone's got a question for Tyler here at Crow's Coin, go ahead. Yeah, uh, hey, Glenn, I, I was listening in, and I know some people like to talk about marketing conditions and all that, but uh, what I see is people that have built something super cool, right? People that have been in the space for a long time and they're building something super robust. And it's like you said, sure, it might have started off as, as a meme, as a, a future Dogecoin or whatnot. But by adding on extra utilities, adding the, uh, the games, the, pay, the, the NFTs, uh, everything that you're doing with the bridge, I think it just shows like a level of, of, of maturity from the team, you know, that just knows that market conditions is not everything, right? If you have something solid, if you have a strong community, if you're, if you're building something super cool for people to, to engage with, then that's not really a, a deterrent for, for for the people at Croge. It's just the way I see it. And I know a lot of people here actually are part of the community and, you know, are investors and everything. And I'm, I'm also uh, curious about some, some of the feedback that you've been getting, because uh, I imagine, like, I I checked out the Telegram and everything, you know, but I, I imagine some people are coming to you and saying, okay, I'm excited about this or that, or uh, how are you going to do this? Or, uh, and, I, and I'm curious, what's what's the um, the top thing that, that the, the community is excited about? Is it, is it the game? Is it the NFTs? Is it something else that you have up your sleeve? What's, uh, what's happening? Right now, the thing in the near future that everyone is good for and most of even the team is would be the NFTs um, to be released and sold that 
we, we we're going to do a whole separate AMA with that, with the two people on our team outside of our team who do the NFTs. One of them is has a lot of experience in the NFT world, especially on the Chrono side. He has a lot of connections in that area. So that's what I would when we I'll, you know before we go live with that we're going to have an AMA and he can explain in real detail about some of the things we're doing but that would probably be the nearest best thing that i would say people are looking forward to um it's a pretty cool concept of what we'll be doing with the releases with it and the designs so outside of that i would say it's also the, cent the new centralized exchanges that we're getting listed on but right. I wouldn't really be able to right. say much about those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people are excited about the um, extra exposure, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's quite a given. And I, I've heard you mention um, allowing people in the future to sort of uh, on-ramp with fiat. Are, are you, is that going to be in the near future? Well, I don't know, are you partnering up with Flues or anything like that? Or people like that. Be able to buy with, uh, be able with uh, yeah. yeah, it's definitely something that we've thought about. We haven't put anything set in stone regarding it we are going to be releasing um the merchandise some things that we've started entry level getting that going um so that's something you could also we haven't really even i guess this is kind of the first time I've, anyone's from the team has talked about it is right here um that that's something that we're starting to get going and hopefully could be worked out soon Again, I'm not saying any specific dates or what's going to come with it, but it's just also something that we've been working on, just started working on in the background as well. Yeah, it sounds sounds good. Sounds good. And uh, yeah, I, I imagine people are, are excited about the NFTs. Like we've seen what people can do with NFTs, not just on the art side, but attaching utilities and, and doing all sorts of interesting things with them. So I can uh, yeah, I can I can relate. Yeah. All right. Well, it, it it looks it looks super nice to me, man. Like I I love Croge, and we've been uh, supporting since uh, since the beginning, and I think you guys are doing something super nice. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. And to investors, um, let's see, Syed, you had a question. The Croge Coin team here for uh, Tyler. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, Glenn. I have few questions. So I understand that you <laughs> don't have uh, much knowledge about the game, but uh, on your website, I've read that user can earn free Kronos currency by completing uh, daily hunts. So I was wondering that, uh, do you have any idea that what kind of the hunts are these and is there any limit uh, on number of the hunts player can and complete in a day or in 24 hours? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure on these specific numbers of how many hunts you can do a day or really anything regarding the game, to be honest. It's not something I've really been focusing on too much that was kind of going in the background while I was doing the swap stuff and the centralized exchanges. So, yeah, Comet would be better to answer for any of that stuff, but he was unable to make this AMA. So... But, I mean, if you come in the community, Telegram, and everything like that, people are always able to answer you regarding anything. It's a very helpful, yeah, yeah. close-knit yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, I certainly will. Yeah, it's understandable. Moving to my next question. So you have this uh, one game uh, uh, live and uh, it's now down for maintenance. So I was wondering that uh, do you have any plan in future to uh, develop maybe more P2E games or uh, maybe even Metaverse? Yeah, that's something we'd be doing further down the road. It wouldn't be on our top priority, but again, yeah, all those type of things, eventually the goal would be to slowly add all of that. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, metaverse would be, you know, a much bigger thing further down the road after we, it wouldn't be on the phase two roadmap, but those are all things that potentially down the road that we'd like to maybe even surprise the community with one day, but yeah, right now it's all just further down the road. We're open to doing anything we can to help grow the coin. Got it. So users are able to stake Roach token on MMF finance platform. So I was wondering that uh, what APY is being offered there to the users? Regarding staking, the staking APYs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we don't offer in 
house staking, you would have to do it. It's through MM Finance, and that's the only place you can stake Croge right now, and it would be whatever their current rates are. I know recently they just changed it around, so I wouldn't know off the top of my head right now what they are because of everything that happened with Kronos lately, and they had a front-end breach, so I wouldn't know what the exact APYs are right now. Got it. So I was just curious that how many total holders that you have at the moment? How many total what? Holders, holders of your native token. Oh, yeah. Right now there's 8,800 holders. Wonderful, wonderful. That's a huge uh, number for a Chromos blockchain. Uh, so moving to my next question, uh, as there are various uh, features on your dApp, uh, like Portfolio Tracker, uh, Rug Seeker Swap, so I was wondering that uh, all these um, features are only accessible to the token holders or any user can have uh, access to few features like uh, Rug Seeker or Watch List. Yeah, you can access it right now. It should be only to token holders or the thing is we're coming out with a new website. So I'm not, there's going to be a lot more that we'll be able to offer through that platform on our website. And we'll, um, that would have to be, I'm not sure yet what we're doing with that, but it's going, we're going to really expand on the current DAP. Got it. Uh, got it. Totally understandable. Uh, so you mentioned about these NFTs uh, and they will be released in uh, three phases. Uh, so I was wondering that uh, will these NFTs will be uh, launched on the Kronos blockchain or you're thinking of launching them on the Ethereum as most of the NFTs uh, project launch them on the Ethereum blockchain. Sorry, I think that I just got dropped and re back in. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, what was that? I can I can yeah, hear I can you now to reconnect. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned that the NFTs uh, will be released in the three phases. So I was just curious that uh, all these NFTs will be on the Kronos blockchain, right? Or you are planning on uh, launching mm -hmm. them on the Ethereum blockchain? No, yeah, they'll all be on Kronos. Our NFTs. Yeah, it'll. it'll that's where we're planning to be putting it. Um, if anything changes, we would announce it, but no, it, it should all be through Kronos. Got it. And uh, these NFTs will be 2D or 3D? These are all going to be 2D. Okay, wonderful. And uh, who is the artist behind these NFTs? It's Teddy. He's our graphic designer. He's been with us since day one. He's pretty much does every type of artwork. Um, with, you know, anything that we do, any of the online banners or logo, he did the logos, but yeah, so he knows our style and what, what to do. And so, yeah, he's the one who's behind all the NFT creations. Great, great. Art is wonderful on the website and the mm -hmm. glimpse of the NFTs, they're also wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carlos. Over to you, Glenn. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's move on to Weston. You had a question for Grove's coin, go ahead. Yeah, thanks a lot, Glenn, for the opportunity. Um, I was on your website. Please give me a second to get that. And I'm on your Croach coin online white paper. And I saw that your audit is done by um, Audit Rate Tech. And I was just hearing just now, you talked about a breach. Did the breach affect um, any functionality on your project? Does the bridge affect any? functionality on the website did you mean no on your project on your project i heard you talk about a breach just now did it affect any functionality on your project no the bridge yeah didn't affect anything with that if that's what you mean with the actual smart contract itself okay all right cool cool um i saw your audit by um Audit rates tech. Do you intend to do audits with other auditing companies like um, Certic, for example? 
Yeah, yeah. As I said earlier, we've been meaning to yeah get you know an audit by a bigger name. You know, Certic is obviously one of the biggest. Um, but well, honestly, we just haven't around gotten around to doing it yet. And I know it can be pretty expensive too. But yeah, that's definitely something on our to do list that we are planning on doing in the real near future is to get an audit from one of the you know top name audit companies. It's cool, cool. Um, speaking about your community engagement, would you um, what's the what's the percentage ratio of your community discussion for um sorry community decision making policy? Do you um consider the um decisions of your community through a panel or whatever the community decides, you just pick it? I mean, yeah, we always are listening to the community. If a lot of them, you know, are voicing an opinion on something that they think would be you know beneficial for the token and the you know coin itself obviously we would listen to them if we agree with it it's i mean if we at the end of the day make the decision on what we feel is best for the token obviously some people in the community haven't have not to sound rude but you know they haven't ran a token in the past that has reached x amount of market cap a lot of us have, so we kind of have a good idea of, you know, certain things that we believe are best for the token as a whole. But overall, yeah, we, we listen to them. We talk with them. We interact with them. We're always all in the chat, you know, in the whale groups as well. You know, we take it into consideration. And, you know, there's been a couple things that the community has suggested that we've ended up, you know, putting together because we agreed with their feedback. That's cool. Um, NFT um, counterfeiting, how do you intend to tackle this NFT counterfeiting um, um, with regards to your NFTs? How do we plan on tackling what portion of it? The NFT counterfeiting issue. Well, we have um, someone who's very experienced in the NFT world, Santiago. Um, he is leading most of the NFT launch project you know he, he's handling most of it for croge and obviously we're running with it but him and another partner who, who we've added to the you know the nft side of things is going to be handling that so when we have on our ama community ama regarding the nft release he and the our other nft team members would be the best to speak about anything regarding that all right, thanks a lot, um, Tyler. Here's my last question. Um, Dogecoin was basically built on hype. And even after the hype went down, we still see Dogecoin at a high market cap. Do you have any plans? What plans do you have to engage your investors? Because investor engagement also sustains the APY. So how do you intend to engage your investors and your community from time to time on your project so that even if after the hype goes down, the, the project still stays afloat? Yeah, that's what we're pretty much doing right now. I mean, we got up to the, you know, base just under 60 mil market cap. I mean, the market was obviously pumping pretty good at the time. So that helped. But even when the market has gone down, we've still maintain. I mean, there we have multiple pictures um, of the coin where every other coin, you know, is down in red. And I mean, every coin and Croge was up 13% the other day. So it's down you know, on our year to date chart, obviously it's showing that we're down, obviously, but we, we've still held over the past week or so when the market has really been bleeding. We haven't dipped down much at all. If anything, we've been going up and we've been going opposite directions as Kronos. Kronos and MMF have both been declining pretty rapidly in this bleeding market and Croge has actually been going up. So, we have a lot of eyes on us still, and a lot of people believe in the end goal of what Croge can accomplish. And that's why people, we just had a $15,000 buy earlier today. You know, this is the time, the market as it is right now, if you believe and trust in a coin, this is the time to be buying into it. Because right now everything is, you know, bottom, bottom of the barrel pricing. So the fact that we've held as much as we have right now in these market conditions and as of late is, I think it really shows that the hype for us is still there. And it can, if it's going well now, imagine how it's going to go when we have our new updates rolling out, when we're live on this week, Mexi, 
the centralized exchange and when the market just you know starts to pick up a little again then i believe that the hype is it's definitely just always floating right above us it's just waiting for the right time for us to get a nice pump and we'll i think we'll fly off of a pump again and get back to an all-time high that's what we were shooting for with the croge one dollar summer when we flip the price of doge that's what we all believe is a, a real possibility wishing your project success tyler over to you glenn all right okay, thank you very much questions let's see we've got almania as well um you had a question for tyler at croge coin go ahead yeah, Glenn, thank you so much. A very good evening, everybody. So um, I've been listening for a while, and uh, Western Beast actually touched a little on the question of one of the hacks. Now, when, you, when I went to the website, I saw the bridge, and I saw that that bridge kind of, uh, first of all, I like the, the, the design of the crocodile being the bridge. It's, it's really great. But then... When I read through the website, I saw that the bridge is the bridge that connects Crochecoin to uh, multi-chain blockchain. And I, I I could see that you kind of have focused on the BSC network, the BSC blockchain. So when would you be moving over to the Solana or the Ethereum blockchain? Thing? Did you say when we'll be moving over to Ethereum or Solana? Yes, that's what I'm saying. When will you be moving or are you already moving over to the Solana or the uh, Material blockchain? Solana, we haven't thought much about at all, to be honest. Um, it's That would be way, way down the road. Ethereum, obviously, yeah, it's something that we've already been considering and would want to do as, you know, we would have to get a higher market cap um, to effectively bridge you know ethereum and as i said earlier you need a very large amount of liquidity for ethereum you know a couple hundred thousand just to start off and you know that's money that we would have to come up with and you know just be able to basically sit in an entire new you know new token you know the ethereum side because no big ethereum whales are going to come in to you know they're not going to buy into a token on the ETH side if the, unless the liquidity is you know very high. That's what attracts any big whales, but especially in Ethereum. So yeah, it's something down the road, but nothing I could say of you know that's going to be happening any solid dates, especially not in this market right now. Great, great. So um, just a quick one before I leave. Aside from AMAs like this and. Uh, or having YouTube sessions or having a Twitter account, what other social medias or what other steps are you guys using for marketing to kind of spread where you guys going to be opening up things like uh, posters or even having a, a billboard or something? What other steps are you guys taking for to kind of spread the word to marketing for Crush? Yeah, we do have some. Uh, one that's going to be live shortly. Uh, a real life advertising such as a billboard i've i it's kind of more of a you know going to be a surprise but i'll say some of it that's something that we have going so i can't really speak much more on that but we do have some stuff in the works right now of more you know real life in-person advertising and then the other thing is just social media ads on outside of cripple that's something we've always done that have found us good success to get to the you know the the, the average crypto investor who's not inside, you know, the telegram world or the call channels. So, so it's just always, we're just always doing new things, trying new things to find out what works and what doesn't work um, for marketing and advertising. And we're starting to find out what works best, but it's pretty much whatever we can find we'll we'll give a shot there's just always new things that we're trying we really don't even have a set marketing plan because it's always just finding new things and changing it's all right thank you so much um, yeah so maybe if we can do a recap uh tyler over the crow's coin it's a huge project on the grow um, network and yeah like you said unfortunately there's a few things that Cosmos would have been able to talk to us more about the uh, gaming and the and the uh, 
other aspects of the project. But yeah, if we can do a recap, that'd be great. Yeah, a recap of. Sorry, I, I think it cut out again. Recap you said a recap point. of the AMA the project. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, a recap for investors yet yeah, that have joined in the middle of the call. So, yeah, I did miss the first half. They can uh, get up today on what's happening with the crows coin. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, a good summary of where we're at right now is, I mean, the first, the first weeks we were in phase one of the road, see the roadmap online and everything that we accomplished with that was in five weeks. Um, 35 days roughly to be exact and in that time we accomplished 58 mil all-time high you know a couple centralized exchanges you know partners i mean we pretty much got everything done you know the the first base type stuff that you know cmc everything to do that you see most coins get and so that is what we did in, and we accomplished all that in 35 days which is pretty I think at least pretty impressive for coins to do that fast, to do all that in less than just over a month, you know, the bridge and the game, everything, you know, every, so many things were running concurrent in the background with all of our updates that were coming out. So, I mean, we were working nonstop. And now if you go on the website and you see the phase two roadmap of what we're starting with, a lot of those are all working in the background at the same time. So that's why sometimes we have, you know, we'll have a week where it's just update, announcement, update, announcement, one after another, because they all finish because we're always just working on everything at once. We have a good team who is able to, <clears throat> you know, do different things at separate times. And we all have our own good strengths and weaknesses of what we do you know to get the updates done as quickly as possible so yeah right now the main thing the next thing that's coming up is the nft launch and with the partners that we have onboarded with that regarding the nfts it's going to be a it should be a pretty big launch and it should be something that's going to be visible to a wide audience not just the croge community so that's something that we're really pumped for and especially tomorrow the chronos network as a whole is doing an entire new update and that is going to as they say hopefully rapidly increase the speed of transactions how quickly they go through and it should get more on the bsc side how bsc basically runs instantly i mean you put a transaction it's pretty much usually always going through that's what they're trying to get at and because as i said earlier the chronos network is still in beta right now it might seem weird to hear that but it legitimately is still in beta version so you can really only imagine the potential that croge has when the blockchain that it's on gets out of its own beta stage and actually is I mean, you see all the advertising crypto.com is doing right now. Give it a year or, you know, by the end of the year, what they'll be doing. Halving when Bitcoin does its next halving, I mean, and gets on its next real bull run. I mean, Croge, I mean, the sky truly is, in my personal opinion, the sky is the limit. Thanks very much for coming today. Tyler from the Crow's Coin, and yeah, it's uh, been a huge success on the Crow blockchain, and you've you know you've expanded it very quickly, and realised you know volume will come in through uh, bridging and multi-chain swap, and yeah, so that's that's great for the investors, and you, you've got diamond hand holders and the big community there, so it's looking great for the future. It's uh, unfortunate we're in a bit of a bear market at the moment, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, but in the future, yeah, it's going to be awesome as the uh, Kronos blockchain grows and everything else. Um, so we do say AMAs are for educational purposes for investors. Um, do your own research, check out the website, the white paper, the community, and make your decision from that. You know, it's not financial advice that we offer in the AMAs here, but um, yeah, it's a great project, Crow's Coin, and it was great we could, we could speak to you today and our investors. Thank you very much for coming, Tyler. Yeah, appreciate you guys having us on again. Yeah, sorry to say that comment wasn't able to make it. It was kind of a, I guess, yeah, last minute thing that he found out he wasn't able to get on. But yeah, we're always glad to 
you know, go in front of other communities and talk with them and kind of let people know what's going on. And yeah, I just invite everyone to, you know, keep Croge kind of in the back of their mind because, I mean, we're still under two months. So everything that we've accomplished in the past 60 days, I mean, I really just can't even begin to grasp what we will be accomplishing in six months from now. So yeah, appreciate having us on and like we'll definitely be on again, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, definitely come back, yeah, and give us an update as as things progress. And uh yeah, we would love to have you back with the community at Wellpoint Talk in the future, um, Tyler, yeah. And um, right, so I'll finish the recording, send a copy over for you to share with your community and send, share that in our main chat for people to listen back to. And uh, all the socials are there in our main chat if you need to check out the website or the telegram. That's the official telegram there. So uh, for investors, yeah, head over there and check out. Do you have the VC open quite a lot, Tyler, for people to come in and have a have a chat with the team? Yeah, it's not open that much. But, I mean, if the community wants it or requests, you know, d times where it is open, yeah, we'll open it up and let people discuss. But, yeah, it's something that is kind of a, you know, you know, depends on the day, I guess. I know, yeah, I mean, you can sort of schedule AMAs in your chat and you can put a countdown timer to certain times, uh, you know, once or twice a week and open it for investors. It seems to go down well with investors in Telegram. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Thanks for coming, Tyler, and uh, take care, yeah. All right, yeah, thanks for having us on. Yeah, uh, if you could just send me over the recording and then, yeah, we'll release it to our um, community as well with references to your guys channel some yeah yeah i'll share that in, the sh in our shared chat uh, shortly all right sounds good appreciate it